Shalom, Yasharal, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the elect men that's feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel. With this great gospel that's coming out of our Bible, our Bible that is filled with what prophecies. Prophecies of what the future of this place, this society that we live in, the society that we live in. There's a reason we tell you people not to build in this society, not to try to set up shop in this society like you see the heathens trying to do, right? Trying to gain in this society. Man, all this is about to be burnt up. All this is about to be burnt up. The trees about to be on fire, the grass about to be a fire, the buildings, man, the light post. Um, the stop signs, man, the people, the cars, right? The schools, right? The colleges, the courtrooms, the courts, everything, everything, everything is being prepped for the nuclear destruction. This is the book of Malachi. I'm read Malachi 4 and 1. It reads, for behold, the day of the day cometh for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven that shall burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble in the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Yeah, ain't gonna be no root. Ain't gonna be nothing for it to make a comeback. Yeah, you're gonna be rooted up <laughs> with fire. That's the future of Esau, Edom, and you wicked. Here in Babylon, the great in different places around the world. Over in the land of Israel, Israel gonna get hit with them nuclear missiles too. That's the, that's the spirit that the Lord is prepping, man. That's Because these are plagues that are about to be released on the face of the earth. And um, Esau, you will not be able to escape them. <laughs> you will not be able to escape the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because Esau, in his mind, he thinking he could escape the judgment of the Lord. The Bible said, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, we know who's the proud. Esau, the pride of thine heart, have deceived thee thou that dwellest in the clefts of rocks. Whose habitation is high, who set in his heart, who shall bring me down? Man. That's that's the spirit of Esau Edom. The Lord about to bring you down with what? Fire. With fire. With fire. I'm gonna read the book of um Zechariah 14 and 12, and it says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, right? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's the future you Edomites, your flesh shall consume away while you stand upon your feet and you two-thirds too because you fighting against us right now man the lord's trying to set up his order wake up his people and here you are refusing to listen refusing to come back to the lord so you look at as an enemy of the lord as an enemy of the lord here in babylon the great so you're going to taste a taste of that fire i'm gonna read it says the book of zechariah 14 and 12 and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. <laughs> yeah, that's the future. That's the future, man. Because it's either you're with Yahweh or you're not with the Lord. And you don't want to be an enemy of the Lord. Because the Lord is doing what? He's prepping the nations around the world to what? Attack America. To attack America. Because <laughs> it's all about the end game of this place. What's another thing the Lord doing? Man? The Lord been setting up these nuclear scientists to what? To make these weapons of mass destruction, right? You got these weapons of mass human casualty. They're called nuclear missiles. I'm going to go to the book of um, Isaiah 54. Let me do Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. What is that? That nuclear missile. You got these scientists um, splitting atoms and <laughs> mixing chemicals to cause nuclear explosives. And um, that's what they're going to use to shoot at other nations, at other countries. That's the end game of this kingdom of wicked men, right? Ungodly men. They're going to fire missiles on each other. 
And at the and at the same time, the Lord's going to intervene and put an end to all of them. I'm reading it says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And how is America going to be destroyed? By nuclear destruction. By nuclear destruction. I'm going to go to this article right here, right? It reads, World War III fears mount as NATO puts 300,000 troops on high alert due to Putin. Vladimir Putin. It says NATO Alliance Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg revealed they will put 300,000 troops on high alert following Russia's increased aggression on the eve of summit. Yeah, man. These people, man, they ready to fight. And we ready to watch them fight. <laughs> We're to watch them fight. Everything's going in the right direction. It says, with countries fearing mounting aggression from Moscow following Vladimir Putin's war on Russia's neighbor, the measure is designed at bolstering defenses where the Baltic states border Russia. Who, um, who gives a fuck? White on white violence is beautiful violence. We need more. It says Finland and Sweden's bids for membership in the 30-member alliance are due to be discussed when the coalition leaders include U.S. President Joe Beasy, Joe Freaky Beasy, Sleepy Freaky Beasy, and Prime Minister Boris Johnson. This is one of the worst-looking politicians you've ever seen in your life. His hair always messed up, right? Take a part in negotiations in the Spanish capital. Yeah, all that talking ain't never done nothing. You can't stop what's coming. What's coming? War. Here's another article. Bomb London first. Vladimir Putin's ally makes World War III threats on Russian TV. What? Bomb London first. Yeah. Hit him up. It says Vladimir Putin's close ally has sent a warning to London that the city should be bombed. The city should be bombed first. If World War III broke out, Audrey Gurulyov, Gurulyov, Gurulyov a member of Russia's defense committee says no one will care which country from the West it is. We will see them all as NATO. Or the, you got these people, man, these Edomites, they done came together, <laughs> right? Now they got a split. Because this ain't nothing but Edomite against Edomite. And Russians are Edomites. It says, speaking of Russian TV state, he warned the first to be hit will be London. It's crystal clear that the threat to the world comes from the Anglo-Saxons. He vowed that the West would be cut off with all power supplies destroyed. Gurulyov, a former military commander, member of the pro-Putin United Russia Party, said, we'll destroy the entire group of enemy space satellites during the first air operation. No one will care if they are American or British. What what he said, no one will care if they are American or British. Yeah, we will see them all as NATO. Second, we'll mitigate the entire system, anti-missile defense everywhere at 100 percent You see, these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers got their minds set. You you can't you can't <laughs> you can't turn back the spirit that the Lord done put on these people, man. And they mind, they ready for war. I'm going to read the book of, um, <clears throat> yeah, I got to read the book because we already know the plagues is these missiles, right? So I'm going to read the book of 2nd Ezra 16 and 11, right? 16 and 11, 2nd Ezra's verse 16 and 11. It says the Lord shall threaten, right? Ain't that what my man doing right now? The Lord threatening through these dudes. The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh in the foundation thereof. The sea ariseth up out of the waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world and be shot here in the Americas. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as the arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. 
Um, even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Yeah. So, yeah, these people, they may get threats now. But pretty soon it's going to get um physical. 